Join me as I dive deep into the world of the Belgian Malinois, putting my own assumptions to the test. Are these dogs truly aggressive, or are they simply misunderstood? Let's embark on this journey to unravel the truth behind the breed's reputation and uncover whether the Malinois is as fierce as its reputation or whether we're missing a larger picture. The Belgian Malinois is a breed that has surged in popularity over recent years, and it's not hard to understand why. These dogs have showcased their extraordinary abilities in police work, military operations, search and rescue missions, and even in competitive dog sports like Schutzhund. Belgian Malinois are famous for their intelligence, agility, and extreme loyalty. But there's something about their serious demeanor, their sharp focus, and their intense stare that often leads to a key question. Are Belgian Malinois aggressive by nature? The reputation of Belgian Malinois. Unpacking the myth. I think it's safe to say that most people have heard the rumor that Belgian Malinois are inherently aggressive dogs. Whether it's a story shared by a friend or warnings from fellow dog owners, this reputation tends to follow the breed. Maybe you've even been cautioned by well-meaning family members to stay away from them, describing them as volatile or even dangerous. But how much of this reputation is based on fact, and how much of it is due to misunderstanding or misrepresentation? I've spoken with many Malinois owners who passionately defend their dogs, describing them as the sweetest, most affectionate, and loyal companions they've ever had. On the flip side, I've also encountered people who describe their experiences with the breed as stressful or even alarming, suggesting that their dog seemed like a ticking time bomb, ready to react aggressively under pressure. So, which version is closer to reality? The truth, as often is the case, lies somewhere in between. Why do people label the Belgian Malinois as aggressive? One of the biggest problems with labeling an entire breed as aggressive is that it oversimplifies and mischaracterizes the true nature of these animals. Aggression isn't something that is inherently unique to the Belgian Malinois, or to any breed for that matter. The reality is that any dog, regardless of breed, can become aggressive if it is not trained, socialized, or cared for properly. But why is the Malinois so frequently singled out as aggressive, more so than many other breeds? A key reason is that Belgian Malinois are frequently used in high-stress environments, such as police and military work. These roles demand alertness, vigilance, and quick decision-making, which can easily be mistaken for aggression by those unfamiliar with the breed's working capacity. These dogs are trained to protect, defend, and respond in high-pressure situations, and this training emphasizes traits that can look like aggression to the untrained eye. However, it's important to distinguish between a dog's protective instincts and outright aggression. Protective behavior can manifest as growling, barking, or defensive actions in response to perceived threats, but this doesn't mean the dog is inherently aggressive or dangerous. The Malinois is hardwired to react quickly in certain situations, especially if it perceives a threat to its family or territory. But this is controlled purposeful behavior, not unpredictable aggression. Misunderstanding the drive. The high energy nature of the Belgian Malinois. One reason Belgian Malinois often get labeled as aggressive is because they are a high drive breed. When we talk about drive in dogs, we're referring to their natural instincts, particularly their prey and work drive. The Malinois has a strong prey drive, which means they are naturally inclined to chase, pursue, and capture moving objects, animals, or even people if not trained properly. This high level of drive and energy can be overwhelming for inexperienced owners, especially if the dog is not given a proper outlet for its energy. Imagine adopting a dog that has the stamina to run for hours, the intelligence to solve complex problems, and the instincts to chase anything that moves. Now imagine trying to keep that dog content and calm without the right training or activities. It's easy to see how a high-energy, bored, or frustrated Malinois could exhibit behaviors that might be perceived as aggressive, but in reality, it's the result of unmet physical and mental stimulation. The importance of training and socialization. The most critical aspect of owning a Belgian Malinois is ensuring proper training and socialization. If you've ever watched a Belgian Malinois in action, whether during a police demonstration or in a dog sport competition, you'll notice their incredible focus and obedience. However, this level of discipline doesn't come naturally. It takes hours upon hours of consistent training, patience, and effort. A Belgian Malinois that is not trained or socialized properly from an early age is at risk of developing behavioral issues, including aggression. Socialization involves exposing the dog to a variety of people, places, 
sounds, and experiences, helping them learn to react calmly and appropriately to new situations. Training, on the other hand, helps shape their behavior and provides structure and boundaries, which is vital for a dog that thrives on discipline. The key to success with a Belgian Malinois is positive reinforcement training, using rewards like treats, toys, or praise to encourage good behavior. Punishment-based training can lead to fear and anxiety, which could exacerbate negative behaviors, including aggression. If a Malinois owner fails to establish clear leadership and provide sufficient training, the dog may develop undesirable behaviors like excessive barking, jumping, or even biting in an attempt to communicate its frustration or anxiety. If you have liked the video so far, please consider subscribing. Nature versus Nurture How Genetics Play a Role While training and socialization are paramount, we cannot ignore the role of genetics in shaping the behavior of a Belgian Malinois. The breed has been selectively bred for certain traits, particularly for working roles that require high levels of intelligence, physical ability, and focus. These dogs were originally bred to herd livestock and protect the flock, which meant they needed to be vigilant, fast, and protective. Over time, these traits were refined for use in police, military, and security roles. A Malinois's genetics predisposed them to be energetic, hardworking, and protective. But it doesn't mean they are inherently aggressive. Think of their genetics as providing a foundation, while training and socialization build the house. In the right environment, with responsible owners who understand their needs, Malinois can thrive and show their true, loving nature. Conversely, poor handling, lack of structure, and neglect can cause behavioral problems in any dog, but especially in high-energy breeds like the Malinois. Belgian Malinois, the Velcro dog and their affectionate side. Despite their reputation as serious working dogs, Belgian Malinois are often described as Velcro dogs because they love being close to their people. They are incredibly loyal, and once they bond with their owner, they form a deep attachment. This loyalty and affection may come as a surprise to people who only know the breed for its intimidating appearance in police and military work. In a home environment, a well-trained Malinois can be a gentle, loving, and playful companion. They are known to be excellent family dogs when raised in the right environment, and they thrive on human interaction. Malinois often become deeply attached to their families, following them from room to room and even resting their heads on their owner's lap for comfort. Many owners describe their Malinois as being incredibly affectionate, even clingy at times, which is why they've earned the nickname Velcro Dogs. However, this affectionate behavior doesn't mean they are suited to everyone. They still require a significant amount of exercise, mental stimulation, and leadership to maintain a balanced temperament. The key to success, understanding the Belgian Malinois' needs. For those considering adding a Belgian Malinois to their family, it's crucial to understand the breed's needs. This is not a couch potato dog that will be content with a quick walk around the block. A Malinois needs daily physical activity, mental challenges, and structured training to stay happy and healthy. Without these, their pent-up energy can lead to behavioral issues that might be mistaken for aggression. Mental stimulation is just as important as physical exercise for this breed. Malinois excel in activities like agility training, obedience competitions, and puzzle games that challenge their minds. Owners who are active and enjoy outdoor activities will find the Malinois to be an enthusiastic and tireless partner. Are Belgian Malinois suitable for families? One question that often arises is whether Belgian Malinois are good family pets. The answer depends on the family. While Malinois can be excellent companions, they are best suited for active families who have the time, energy, and experience to handle their high-maintenance nature. Families with young children should take extra care to ensure that the dog is properly socialized and trained to interact with kids. One potential challenge with having a Malinois in a family setting is their natural herding instincts. Without proper training, they may try to herd children or other pets by nipping at their heels or chasing them. This behavior can be managed with training, but it's important for families to be aware of it before bringing a Malinois into their home. By now, you should have a clearer understanding of the Belgian Malinois' true nature. Far from being aggressive, they are complex, highly intelligent, and extremely loyal dogs. Their energy and drive make them excellent working dogs, but it's these same traits that require careful management in a home setting. So, the next time you hear someone labeling a Malinois as aggressive, remember, it's all about how they're raised, trained, and understood. Have you ever had experience with a Belgian Malinois? Or are you considering bringing one into your family? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to stick around for more insights into the world of dogs.
If you're looking for dog training tips, advice on high-energy breeds, or just love learning about canine companions, don't forget to check out our next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Did you enjoy the content? Please support the channel by clicking the subscribe and share buttons.